Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. Got this team right here that my good friend the Pokemaster Mike passed me. Some pretty basic bulky offense right here with some Volturn. Mega Gallade with SD3 attacks. Very nice balance breaker, but it can also do well against offense with its really nice speed tier. Volt Switch Thunder Wave Rotom right here. I'm running Thunder Wave because that's what the team had, and I do want to use the original team with the Aya Papa Berry, of course, so... Normally I would run will o -Wisp, but we'll go ahead and run Thunder Wave right here. We have Lander's T Defensive Flying EMZ, that is our Stealth Rocker. Choice Specs Tepulele, the Terrain Support helps Gallade, but individually this is also just a really nice wall breaker with Dual Psychic Stab. Choice Scarf Cortana is a late game cleaner, and then finally an Assault Vest Magirna Pivot. So, pretty basic bulky offense, kind of resembles that one bulky offense sample team with the Mega Medicham and Gren over Mega Gallade and Lele right here, so I think that might be where the concept came from, but let's go ahead and get right into today's game. Alright, I got a game right here, and this player is going to lose every Pokemon to my size spam core. Glade and Lele just go in. In fact, I'll leave Lele here and probably Deontay, knowing I can take one and maybe knock it out with Psychic. I can take one from Keldeo too, even Waterium Z should not be able to knock me out. I don't think I have a reason to predict right here, I'll just go for Psychic into maybe Ferrothorn coming in. Because I want to get some damage off on Ferrothorn initially, I can use maybe Cart as my pivot to go for a knock into Zap coming in. And we can go ahead and get rid of that Leftovers because... Any damage on Zap is really nice right here. I'm pretty confident we'll leave Waterium Z right here, and I really don't mind taking like a Specs Hydro in exchange for this threat right here. Like, sure, I could use Rotom or maybe Magirna as my pivot, but I really don't mind. I don't know why I'm Silver right now, but I guess I'll stick with it for the live, because why not? Let's see, so they do go Victini here. This is not going to appreciate my hit at all. It took over half. That definitely means it's not Assault Fest, probably Bandit or something. How much do I value Landorus' health right here? I could use this as my opportunity to get up rocks. I think I'll do that. I'll go Landorus T right here, and we'll find out what their set is. They make a very good U-turn play right there, probably right back to Keld. They could go Landorus T too. If it's if they're Flyneum Lando, I should live it and maybe get up my rocks. The mindset is, if they go anything besides Deontay, I'm clicking rocks. I guess maybe I'd switch out on Zapdos too and Keldeo, but... We'll see. If they're HP as Deontay, that's what they would bring out right here, but if they're not, they should go Zap or Keld. Probably Keld, because they're, they're probably calculating the damage right now to see that I'm defensive, right? And then they can go for... Yeah, they go Keld right here, seeing that I am a Fizz Def set. So I can use Rotom as my pivot this time. Although, keeping that out of range of Deontay... I can use Magirna for Deontay. Let's go Rotom here on a Calm Mind. This is fine. Now, they could be sub Calm Mind, and I really can't allow that to do too much work here. So I'll go for Volt. I may be expecting the sub. They just go right for the Secret Sword, it really doesn't matter to me. I have my berry at the end of the day, I get a really nasty crit on them too. That definitely sucks. I'll get in Gallade right here, and revenge them right now with the... with the knockoff. They're gonna use Zap as their pivot right here to go for the para. Uh, they don't get it, so definitely a nasty crit, but I don't agree with staying in right there. He should have subbed if anything. So in theory I could actually SD up and then knock it out with Zen, but Gallade does so well right here, it's not worth making the play. I just use... Actually, maybe it is worth it, because getting rid of Zap just means Cartana win. So let's just D up here on the Discharge. Even if I get paralyzed right now, I don't care, because it'll let Ro uh, Cartana win right here. So go for the Zen and knock it out. I don't care about that para at all, because Cartana just has fun now. Deontay does come in here. I mean, at this point, I don't need my Paralyzed Glade. I'll just go for Close Combat in case they click rocks. They do click Moonblast, which is smart. And now I can just go right here into Specs Lele once again. And, like I said, no reason to predict. I'll just click Psychic right here. No, I do have to be careful. If it is knockoff Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn does come out. This is going to take a lot. Yeah, 32 is definitely not bad damage. I think I'll go Lander's T right here. I don't care if they Leech Sheed me, I just want my rocks up. As they go right for the Spike, that's fine. I'll get up my Leech Sheed, I mean my rocks now, on Keld. I really wasn't anticipating, like, Deontay to come in there. And, I mean, they can go for Secret Sword here, but Lerotom should be able to take it because of the berry, right? And now I can just go right for a save Volt. I mean, I'd imagine they just Secret Sword again, right? They don't really have a good pivot out here. Maybe Ferrothorn? Yeah, they actually do decide to go Ferrothorn. Hmm. Makes this a little bit tougher on me. I like the idea of going uh, Lander's T here and just firing off that Z move now. If they give me a ton of damage on this, that's great for the Leaf Blade win con. That's definitely how I'm winning this game. Late game Leaf Blade, I have Victini in range. I just need damage on Pharaoh and Landorus T, and I think that's... Those are two Pokemon that could come out right here. Keldeo could, in theory, come out too, but I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, they stay in right here. This is huge for my... For my Cortana, and actually, I think U-Turn should be able to pick it off right here. 
They go for protect though, so I, I guess I will earthquake now in case they decide to stay in. Because it's in range of leaf blade anyway, I don't want it leech eating up for no reason, that would be very dumb. And if they go land or his T, that's fine, I can just get a slow U-turn out into Lele and then click Psychic. At this point, Lele eats their team too, so that's cool. I do gotta be careful about it getting worn down though, I still think it's out of range of Deonce just fine, so that should be okay. Now, I have two ground immunities still alive. They do go Lander T right here, definitely a good pivot. If I'm faster right here with the U-turn, I'll go Rotom, but I am slower, okay. And they decide to go Ferrothorn here, so this is fine. I don't want to have Lele take the Spikes damage right now. I think a much smarter option right here could just be taking the damage with Magirna. Sorry, Cortana. But they've already shown Protect, so they can know what I'll lock myself into, which really sucks right here. I think maybe just Magirna as my pivot's okay. Go right for the HP fire. They could- this will give Invictinia though, which kind of sucks, but I can just use Rotom. Rotom is no longer valuable. I have good checks to Keldeo and whatnot, and... The Landorus is going to continue taking a rock, so all I need to do is set up my Cortana. They really messed up their Zapdos right here, I'm not going to lie. All they had to do was keep that healthy and they would have been good, but... They let it go down to Gallade. Definitely got lucky without getting the Static Pair or the Discharge Pair the first time around, but... I still don't agree with them staying in at all. They do stay in right here just to scout my move. Once again, I will click HP Fire just to guarantee this thing goes down. And that's no Leech Eater recovery. So this comes in. I can still use this for Deonce, so I'll just go Rotom Wash here on the V Create. I don't believe I outspeed still if they're jolly, so... A little bit unfortunate, but I'll maybe find out right here and go for Hydro. If they're adamant, I should outspeed. That's definitely a choice band, so... Maybe it is adamant, too. If they give me Landorus, the game's over. That's all there is to it. So they should go either Keld or, yeah, if they're Jolly, then they do that. But this doesn't matter. I go Kartana now. Their only play is either giving me damage on Lando or what they should do is stay in right here because this dies on entry, right? So that happens. Landorus T has to come out, right? And I can literally just use my own Landorus as a pivot. They already see the end game right here, so that's going to be that. And I'll be right back with another one. Alright, I got another game right here. Unfortunately, the Serp matchup is definitely a tough scenario right here. Especially because, I mean, I guess Magirna is getting paralyzed no matter what way I see it, so I'll lead off with it right here. Click Iron Head on the Stun Spore. And then just Volt out this turn on the webs. This is all okay. As long as I get the Volt off, nice. Hmm. Cortana can win. What's a good bring in here? Let's go Landorus T. It kind of makes them have to predict. It's probably Specs Lele. I don't think they have a Scarfer on a team with webs, so... That's cool. Gyarados can come in here and click Dragon Dance if it really wants to. They go Nido King, so I guess they're just hoping that I... No, they double to Gyarados, but this is not a good double for them. In fact, I'm going to take the turn to Defog. Oh, uh, I just did this. What am I doing? I'm gonna Volt. They could be sub, but I need to Volt out here. They go for Glare. I uh, don't know why, but... I'm gonna let this get Glared, even though it kills everything, just to attempt to knock this out, because this is the biggest threat to my team. Nice, I hit. That's all I cared about. I think I won this game guaranteed now with the Leaf Blade from Kartana. Nido King comes in. I mean, this gets outsped and dies to everything. Let's click Rocks. I mean, let's click Psychic. And then get in... Nice Glade under the terrain right here. I know this is Sash, like, it's very obvious, but... Oh, it's not. It's probably Life Orb Sheer Force then. So that's fine. Gyarados comes in. I mean, I still... I mean, it's Mega, right? So actually, I do have to switch out into Rotom. Good Clown double, but I don't think it helps them. I go for Volt here. And then... <laughs> like how that didn't even kill. Because I know it's not the that, I can just go for a knockoff here. Knock it out. Gyarados has to come back in, and yeah, they just get out of that game right there. I definitely think they played their superior badly. Where was this? Yeah, back here, they, they should have Leaf Storm first just to get the boost right away, and then glared whatever I vaulted out into, but they unfortunately glared first. So that was a very quick game, and I'll be right back with another one. Alright, I got the next game right here. I'm pretty sure I know this team. It's SD Cart, Scarf Lele, Z Celebrate, Victini, Dragon Nance, Mega Gyarados. I think it might have been Dual Screens Coco. I don't completely remember that part, but... Yeah, I need to keep Landorus for Victini. I like the Tapu Lele lead here. On Coco. Nice. Well, we know it's offensive Victini, so I can Psychic here. Basically claim a kill, I think, because Lele is not going to take two. Everything else will die. 
If they go Victini, that's great too. They do go Victini. And I can just Psychic again because I know it's Z-Celebrate and they should click that right here because they really don't hit me at, at hard at all before the Z-Celebrate. So, yep, they go for that Z and that's in range of Kartana. So, that's cool. I do. They do have the terrain up, unfortunately. Do I need my Magirna here? And I feel like Magirna is my most expendable mod. Let's go into that. On a Searing Shot. Very good Searing Shot play. I actually did not expect to take that so well. Okay, so they knock me out right there. I get to go out into my cart now. They can switch out, but they don't even have a good switch in, so I think they might just stay in. I just click knock here and knock it out. Nice. So Z Celebrate Victini is out of the game. That's very good for... Well, it was a win con, so it's good in that aspect. Harry can come in. Yeah. Tapu Koko. Let's go... Let's go Rotom on the HP Ice. Nice. Okay, so they tried to predict Landorus. I can just Hydro Pump here. Hit. Nice. Okay, damage on this is vital for Glade and Lando. Sucks that I'm not in Barry range right now, but that's, I guess, okay. I kind of just win with my cart. They knock me out. There's no way this kills my Lele right here, so I literally bring it out and click Psychic again. And... I mean, that does make their Lele obviously scarier, but I think I can take it on with Landorus T. It should be able to take one because it's, I'm pretty sure confident it was Scarf. I know for a fact they're going to preserve their Kartana, right? Because that's their way of not losing to Leaf Blade. This might be Scarf Coco too. No, it's not Scarf. They just switched up, right? Yeah. Okay, so they do stay in and sack the Coco. That's good. Gyarados can come in next, I guess. Yeah, Dragon Dance Mega Gyarados would make sense. I could go Landorus or I could go Cart either way. I'll probably go Landorus first because I don't think Cart can take one hit. Next, I'll go Cart. I'll definitely go Cart. I need Landorus for their Lele. I mean, their Cart, so that would be important. I'm just really scared about their Scarf Lele. I think maybe if I can knock it off, Cart can beat that too. Well, that would be faster anyway, so I guess it's not the biggest deal. This comes in. This is why I have my Landorus in the back. They go for the Leaf Blade. I think I just dropped my Z. Because damage on this is huge, yeah. And here I don't think I take damage myself. I think I should switch out into my cart. Just to preserve offensive momentum right here. I get in on the Gyarados. This is amazing for me. Now here's why I need to make the prediction. Am I predicting cart to come in or not? I think that's my, that might be what this game comes down to. I'm going to Leaf Blade here. Okay, well actually, I get a crit right there, which is cool. But I think the damage on that is actually not bad for me. Go for Smart Strike. I think now I can get a Barrax pretty safely. SD doesn't matter, unless they're Timid Cart, which would make it come down to the Speed Tie. They're not Timid Cart. So now I get this in. I think I just click Close Combat here. Into this, interestingly. Do you live Knock? Well, I have the drop right here, so I should switch out. Bring in Cart. Landorus is a weekend. Kartana, I don't think, takes me on. You should never go hard cart. That's a, That would be a choke. That would be a fine choke, too. Yeah, sack off Lando is definitely the play right here. Uh, I might have messed this one up. Maybe. It depends on how much Peter does to my Gallade. Because Peter's coming out right here. Yep, and I need my Gallade to take one of these. It did take one easily, actually. That's great. Because now I think I'd just go right for the... Perhaps the knockoff. Into the Gyarados. That's okay. Can just CC here, I think. Now let's go back to cart here. Actually, I can win with a knockoff sweep, I think. That's my play, right? Knockoff is an endgame for me. It's either that or... I mean, Sacred Sword's not going to win. Perhaps Smart Strike if I get this damage off. So I need to predict whether he Mega Evolves or not. I think I'm just going to close combat and knock it out. Nice. So now Scarf Lele comes in, right? And I think Double Smart Strike actually knocks out Kartana. That's what I'm going to go off of right here. So here I can just knock... They go for their Scarf Moonblast. And I think, I'm pretty sure two Smart Strikes should knock this out. And I don't think their Sacred Sword ever Oko is me. Come on, knock it out in two. 
it does knock it out in two. Nice, I've won. So that's what I needed to do right there. I knew that I would never get to like go for the Sacred Sword against Cart. I definitely think their mistake was with the Victini. Had they preserved that for the late game, they might have just been in a fine position, but we were able to go ahead and come through with Cart right there. I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here. A couple of things have happened. I ran into stall and clicked X, and then I found that Z-Celebrate Victini player again. And this time he ended up critting my Landorus with Searing Shots, so... A little bit tough scenario right there. I can go ahead and lead off here with my Lele. So yeah, I'm down a couple of games right now, but it's not the end of the world. This guy led Charizard. I think if it's Zardoi, I might live one. So I'll go for Psy Shock here. I think I take one Fire Blast. I know it's stupidly strong, but... So speaking of taking a Fire Blast, that's not what happened. Uh, do you want to live a Solar Beam? Because getting a Thunder Wave on us would be huge. Okay, I did live. Nice. So this puts it in range of this pocket monster. I will just Zen here too. I don't think I bother editing. Yeah, because if they stand to Fire Blast, I would just lose my Pokemon. So we trade Lele for Zard. Both of these Pokemon were big threats, so this I think works out better for me. I can use Magirna Pivot right here. On a Toxic, that's fine. No way I would ever let that get toxic. Here I can Volt out into Landorus because the rain is up. Really good double toxic play, but I still get my rocks up, which is really what I cared about most. Here I can U-turn on the Defog. Most likely Scarf Defog if I had to guess, but I'm not going to risk it just yet. I'll go out into this here and click Volt Switch into Amoongus. Nice. I don't think Glade Oko is it, and I don't want to get explored, so I will go Landorus T here. Hit it up with the Flyny MZ. Like, damage on this is great for my, my my Kartana anyway, so I'll take it right here. Ah, they prevented my rocks. But it was Z, so I'm glad I didn't risk Glade. That was big. I can actually go Glade here. And just click... I think SD is a good play. Hmm. Never mind, SD wasn't a good play. Let's bring out this. And click... Volt. Into an Amoongus coming in, right? I'm gonna Zen here. Can it Oko? Oh, it does this Oko. Okay, nice. So I made the I made the wrong play before. I thought that I would I thought it would live and then maybe spore me, but interesting that they have Amoongus on a team with Coco. I can go Magirna here, and this is a very fleet Flare Cannon, so I think I just click that. Glade and Kartana can still check that other thing, so. I got a crit into it, which really sucks because that was... I didn't have an electric resist, but at the same time, that was guaranteed in range of everything on my team, even Rotom at that point. So, here they go, I think, Slowbro and try to Iron Defense. They don't do that, so... Fly. Not sure why, but... I guess I'll Iron Head. I actually want them to knock me out, so I can get in my... my Kartana. I don't like this. Okay, let's knock it out. Let's find out what this Gren is. That's going to be important too. Yeah, it comes in as it should. Okay, it's Protean U-turn, so probably Scarf, meaning Glade takes it on. Yeah, so I go Cart here. Just click Leaf Blade. And they Scald, that's fine. And then Glade should be able to take the, the Gren and John under any circumstance, I think. I don't think there's a way Greninja can knock it. I still Ice Beam Freeze my Glade. That's what has to happen here. They actually lock U-turn. So what I'm going to do right here is in case that's actually... Like if I go for the close combat, they could knock me out with a U-turn. And then with the drops, they could knock me out after two. So I'm actually going to go for Zen. Nice. So now I can just knock off. And they're definitely Scarf. A crit won't knock me out here. And we're able to go ahead and win that one. And yeah, as you guys are going to see right here, my rating's a lot lower than before. But it's okay, we get back into the 1700s right here. And ideally, we can continue dodging the hacks like we did right there. I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so the official ladder is actually revising to update. But if I can get back to where I started, I'm at 1714 right now. I think I started around 1740. So if I can go ahead and get back there with the next couple games, that would be very cool. I think Gallade looks great right here. I just SD up and kill stuff, that's nice. Hmm. Uh, so does Lele. I, oh, I might predict Ferrothorn coming in. I might make more offensive leads this game. Okay, we do get Ferrothorn on a lead. That's not the worst. I think Rox definitely helped me break better than him. Or her. Peter VGC, him. Okay. And then here I can just Earthquake it down on the knockoff. 
And then, I think here I'll U-turn on the Leech Seed into Cart. They actually Power Whip. That's cool. I can just Sacred Sword here. Into Scissor. Kind of forces it to Roost. It allows me to get into Rotom, yeah. And I'm just going to Thunder Wave. Oh, a pair on Ryuni is nice. Even though, like, it doesn't slow it down. You can always try to take advantage of it. Could go for a knockoff here. Let's go Magirna. Oh, they're just going for it. Okay, well. I'll Volt Switch out into Lele on the Calm Mind. And here we are. How much is Moon? It actually does a ton. Hello? Why does that do so much damage even with my... My... Even with that boost. Okay, so they switch out. Definitely glad that thing is weakened. That thing's a problem. Let's go out into this here. Uh, that's too many hazards, man. Let's defog here. I, I gotta slow down. They go for a Lava Plume. And then just get the rocks back up. Okay. I mean, makes sense. I can't just SD up here, though, and then probably knock this out with Zen. Or come very close to it. Be, be, be a flinch right there for sure. Because I don't know if they clicked. Probably Earthquake is what I'm guessing. I can close combat right here. Bring it very low. Then go Landorus here on the roost. I should have gone for the, the next one, but it's okay. I don't think I can lose to SD. Just with the combination of Pokemon that I have. Thunder Wave here. Actually, I could lose to SD. I miss, which, I mean, I did get lucky with the Reuni, so that's fine. I can just Volt out here. I guess they expected a Wisp, but I've already shown Thunder Wave, so I don't know why. They throw out a Thunder Wave me, which is funny. I can just Earthquake them down. Yeah, they definitely don't have Leech Seed. Nice, let's weaken that. Greninja comes in. Magirna is here for this Mon, so... Okay. Heatran is here. I'm trying to set up my Lele, that's the thing. Actually, letting this take damage could have been a very bad move. Meaning I gotta use a Rotom to get prevent getting Shurik and swept. Either that or Lele. Okay, well, let's bring this in here. Click. Click Moonblast. Knock it out. Scissor is not a threat. Actually, Scissor is the threat. What am I saying? Greninja? Huh? Hello? Oh, okay. I understand. Like, my play is always to vault right into my Lele. That's I can't let the setup on me. You're gonna go Scissor here? Like, this is still doing way too much. I need one full para and you're gone. You're somehow breaking through every time, but it's one out of four. It still gets that one off. Yeah, and there that is, so. Now Scissor's the win con. And they just get out of there. Yeah, I don't really know what the game plan was. Wow, the ladder is still not updating my ranking. They didn't say 17-14 in the last game. I could have sworn it gave me my points, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll be right back with another game. All right, so the ladder did update my last game after a solid four minutes, which was funny, but it happened, which is cool. Cortana looks great right here. It's rain, so obviously Cortana looks great. Let's lead off with the Lele, and I think if they lead Pelipper, I'm going to focus Blast turn one. You don't, you never leave the rain setter in, first of all, and Ferrothorn is your psychic resist. Really torn. I guess I can psychic. I don't do I really care about a knockoff. I need this. I do need this. This could be Z, so I don't go out into that. I'll just psychic here. They go for the U-turn, okay. Not the biggest deal. I wouldn't anticipate hard grand. Yeah, Ferrothorn comes in. Takes a sizable chunk. And I do want to trade rocks with them, so I mean as much as it sucks to have this get worn down. I'll get up rocks here. They go torn. Well, I can Supersonic Sky Strike here. I think it kills. Yeah, just straight up knocks it out. That's the beauty of Z, the defensive Z Lando right here. It just kills stuff. I could get up rocks if I wanted. And you know what? I don't need this. Let's get up the rocks again. Their Defogger is dead. They definitely don't have it on this, and they don't even knock me out. Pert is now in the game. This thing is a problem. Never mind, it's not. Because I have Rotom here. I guess they could be Power Up Punch, but even that wouldn't be the scariest thing ever. Waterfall. They're just gonna go for the flinch, I guarantee you, but I'll Hydro Pump again. Yeah, everybody goes for the flinch. Yeah, and they get it, so what can I do? Now they go Ferrothorn. Well, two can play the Hex game, man. And now I'll go here into Cartana. 
just to prevent the leech dude altogether. And click Sacred Sword, right? I guess knockoff's not a bad play. No, there's no reason not to click Sacred Sword. Tapu Koko. Okay, I'll give them Rotom here. Because I still have my Scarf card to check Mega Swampert under the rain at the end of the day. They go Grin. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go for HB Fire here. Because if they give me Ferrothorn, I'm going to be in a great spot. So, yeah, and speaking of giving me Ferrothorn. Now I don't even have to predict. I click it every time, and then I win with Scarf Cart. Actually, Shuriken? No, Shuriken's not a threat. I'm just a little bit worried about maybe, like, Coco being too big of a threat right here. But I got my Beast Boost. This comes in. I think I'll just Flur Cannon, honestly. Like, don't let them go hard Swampert. Yeah, they needed to hope I Volted. But as long as this hits, it kills. Never mind, I thought it killed, but... I was a little bit mistaken. Uh, well, I should keep this for Gran, so I'll just get an Intimidate off here with my Lander ST on the EQ. Waterfall's there. And then I just Leaf Blade here. They should sack off, I think, Coco? Yeah, Coco sack here makes sense. And then I don't think there's a way I lose because they sack Coco. They have to hope I stay in on Gran, but. I literally just go Magirna on Water Shuriken, click the click the Flare Cannon here, knock that out, and yeah, Cart just wins the game. So we're able to go ahead and break through this one. Mega Swampert comes in, not a threat. Water falls me. This is max speed Jolly Cartana, meaning it always outspeeds Mega Swampert, and then even if this is max Fizz Def and lives, it doesn't live Spec Psy Shock from Lele. Oh, hello, is this Adamant? No, I guess they're Jolly Swampert, that's what it is. So, yeah, it, it's, it's Adamant Swampert, but it doesn't have to be Jolly, so this will go down, I think. We're able to go ahead and win that one. So that was a very crisp game right there, definitely don't feel as though I misplayed. We are back at 1748, so we are at the rating that I wanted to be at, which is very cool. I'm going to go ahead and do something that I would usually never do. Usually when I get back to the rating that I want, I stop the live, but we have time for more, so... Let's get another game right now. Alright, so I should have stopped while I was ahead, but now I'm out here facing T-Specs or Uniclus Fun Times. Uh, if I could lead Lele and maybe get this prediction right, I can kill stuff. Let's click Psychic here. Okay, so there's Scarf. Ah, they're gonna go Heatran. I should have Focus Blasted. Even that doesn't take it well, though. I know it's Scarf too. I'm not gonna let this Lele take any more damage. I can use a Rotom as my pivot here. No, actually, let's use Landers because... Do I think there's Z? That's actually probably Z, because what else would be Z, right? Good Lottie double, but I do have Thunder Wave here, so I'll take it. They could have Refresh, but even that's not going to be too big of an issue. Nice, so I can just Volt out here. Go Magirna on the Wish. Or a Moonblast, okay. Moonblast is cool. Could just go right for the Iron Head here. Pex comes in, so they, they clearly want their T-Spikes up. So I'll get in Lele on that. I can always defog later, and now what I can do is just click. Well, they're not going to give me this. There's no way. I think I'll Focus Blast here into Heatran. Nope. I made the play, and it didn't work out. So let's go Rotom now, and I can Thunder Wave again if I want. I think I just defog, yeah, because Clef is going to come in. Like, Lele forces kills every time, had I got that attack off, but I didn't. Huh. Okay, lame scenario, but what can you do about it? I have gotta be careful about Explosion on Landers, too. That's something I gotta keep in mind. Flamethrower is a good attack, but it doesn't even do any damage, so that's cool. I can go for the Volt Switch here. Alright, well, here we are again. They don't give me this, they go... I think I'm just gonna Psychic, man. They go Lottie and it doesn't take it well, okay. Let's go Magirna as my pivot. Go right for the Volt Switch. Their Thunder Wave and Miss, a little bit unfortunate for them. Cool tech though, I guess. Like, Thunder Wave, Mega Latias. I know I hit on that tech a lot, but... I guess against bulky offense, the speed control could be nice.
I'm curious, are they going to stay in this time or not? They do go clef, okay. Uh, Train's about to go down. I can try to bait them into staying in, perhaps. Go for the fly Z here. Alright, well that's fine. I can get up my rocks now. As they are, I'll probably go for the roost. Yeah, it makes sense. And this gives me the slow U-turn out. Oh, well. Or the death. Okay, the death works too. <laughs> it's a little bit less ideal, but... I don't know why I forgot Ice Beam. For some reason, I thought it would be the stored power set, but... Hey, here we are. I can still win with Lele very easily, but I gotta keep my Rotom now. Rotom's a key Pokemon. They never let me Thunder Wave this. They should always go Clefable. Man, I can't believe I got that Heatran play wrong. I mean, I got it right, and then I missed. Okay, this comes in now. I'll just go for a knockoff here to get rid of its item. And then maybe try to SD up alongside it. They actually give me this thing Scarf, which is really nice. Uh, they could explode here. I'll go, I'll go Magirna on probably the explosion. Clefable. I don't know what they clicked right there, but hey, I'll take it. I'll just click Psychic. I think they're second it off. This thing's such a burden on their team. They're actually giving me this, huh? I don't know why. Lava Plume. Okay, so they'll, they'll be able to 2 it KO me here. And then I think I, I go Gallade here, and I think I just win. That's not going to help you. I knock you out with Zen. Unless that happens, and I need to hit this next one. Very desperately. And I can't get any luck. Let's see here. Okay, I knock it out. Nice. Um, Latias comes in. It's a speed tie. Uh, they win the tie, but they sack it off. Okay. So I, I lose two ties, and I miss my attack. That's always fun. This will die. Give me that. And I think I just win with Psychic. Yeah, so I'm able to get out of that. I mean, Mega Gallade was very scary. We got up to 1764. Hey, I'll take it, and we're going to go ahead and end off right there. Did hope you all enjoyed. It's very late right now. I believe I went 6-0 or 7-0 in the video, but it was really 7-2 because I got hacked a couple games off screen. But it's okay. I still had a ton of fun, and I'll see you next time. Later.